hello student today we will start our class from the gaseous fuel gaseous fuel classification of gaseous fuel it is of two type primary fuel and secondary fuel as we discussed in last class classification of fuel primary fuel is a fuel which is originated from the vital force of nature is called primary fuel it is uh, example of this primary fuel is natural gas secondary fuel secondary fuel it is also called artificial fuel or man made fuel uh, it is produced by the uh, by force of by uh, man made processes example of is a uh, producer gas water gas carbureted gas and coal gas producer gas is a combination of carbon monoxide and nitrogen and water gas is a combination of carbon monoxide and hydrogen this is the classification of gaseous fuel now we are doing advantages of gaseous fuel uh, we are having many uh, many advantages of gaseous fuel uh, it saves the reserves of coal and uh, raw fuel uh, uh, in the easy transportation easy storage through the pipelines from the storage point uh, from the production uh, area uh, gaseous fuel is clean smokeless and ashless that is a pollution free fuel the rate of combustion is easily controlled uh, less air is needed for the combustion as compared to solid and liquid fuel uh, by products are also used for heating the apparatus uh, mm, uh, heating the apparatus again uh, it is the economic better economic fuel high calorific value it is it provide the uniform heating uniform heating is also possible Uh, the rate of combustion is very high that's why the high temperature can be attained now disadvantages of gaseous fuel there are uh, two disadvantages of the gaseous fuel first is the large vo storage volume is required and second a uh, fire hazards due to high inflammability of the gases gases are these gases are uh, highly inflammable and fire hazard uh, if leakage is there fire hazard can be uh, can may be done therefore um, carefully isko use karna padta hai these are the disadvantages now we are doing the some other gaseous fuel first example coal gas which we already discussed in the otto hoffmann's process coal gas is prepared by the destructive distillation of the coal Uh, or you can say that in the absence of air, when when we can heat the coal at the temperature thirteen hundred degree centigrade, coal coke may convert. हो जाता है. This process of uh, is called carbonization, and as well, साथ में ही हमें coal gas भी मिलती है. Coal के destructive distillation पर जो gas मिलती है, उसको coal gas बोलते हैं. If we go for composition of coal gas, hydrogen forty percent, methane thirty two percent. कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड सेवन परसेंट इथीन टू परसेंट इथाइन टू परसेंट इथीन थ्री परसेंट नाइट्रोजन फोर परसेंट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वन परसेंट एंड रेस्ट इज अदर कंपोनेंट्स नो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हाउ कोल केस इज मैन्युफैक्चर इन द लैब वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन ऑटो हॉफमन बायोटिक रिकवरी मैथड अगेन दिस इज द एपरेटस विच शोज द मैनुफैक्चरिंग ऑफ कोल केस These are the silica retorts. In silica retort, uh, these are the silica retort. Here, the waste flue gas is outlet, air and producer gas passes from here. And uh, when coal is here, from here the powdered coal is in, uh, fill in this silica retort. After filling the powdered coal in silica retort, it is heated uh, in the absence of air. at the temperature 1300 degree centigrade by which coal is converted into carbonized uh, coal is converted into coke which process this process is called the carbonization when coal is converted into coke this process is called carbonization as well the gas produced is called coal gas which is first passes through the hydraulic main here because of scrubbing with the water ammonia and the tar tar is um, um, and cooling with the condenser Uh, ammonia, uh, liquid ammonia and tar is separated here. After that, it is scrubbed with the water and crystal uh, um, petroleum oil for removing the benzol and naphthalene. 
after that it is passes through a catalytic chamber where moist iron oxide is present because of this moist iron oxide sulfur is removed here here the reaction and uh, the h2s which is present in the uh, gas is removed by in the form of sulfide fe2o3 converted into fe2s3 after working a uh, few hours this complete moist iron oxide is converted into fe2s3 for uh, and this catalytic bad is completely exhausted by regenerating this catalytic bad the iron sulfide is the iron sulfide is placed uh, is placed in the exposed to the air for regeneration when uh, this iron sulfide is exposed to the air it is again converted into fe2o3 and again used as a catalyst in the catalytic chamber after catalytic chamber the gas is passes uh, is uh, collected from the uh, water displacement method in the gas jar here it is collected now we will do properties of ga uh, coal gas properties of coal gas it is a colorless gas lighter than air it burns with smoky flame and the calorific value of this gas is 4900 kilocalorie per meter cube application it is used as a fuel in met uh, in metallurgical uh, metallurgy for providing reducing environment it is also used domestic and commercial illumination and these are the applications of coal gas now the second gaseous fuel which you have to complete is oil gas oil gas uh, it is produced by thermal cracking of kerosene kerosene ki thermal cracking jab ki jati hai to yahan pe mixture of lower hydrocarbons milte hain methane ethane ethene ethyne propene and tar this is a combination after thermal cracking produced here it is a mixture of lower hydrocarbon the composition of oil gas is hydrogen 50 to 55% methane 25 to 30% carbon monoxide 10 to 12% carbon dioxide is 3% how it is manufactured manufacturing of the oil gas this is the figure that shows the manufacturing of oil gas It, this is the iron retort cast iron retort uh, when it is red hot thistle funnel se hum log jab kerosene ki oil drops isme dalte hain to jo hamare paas mein kerosene oil is hot uh, red hot cast iron ke retort pe girti hain jab girti hain iski dots to unka thermal cracking ho jata hai thermal cracking jinka uh, thermal cracking ke baad mein ye ए मिक्सचर ऑफ लोअर हाइड्रोकार्बन्स बनाती है जिसको हम लोग फर्स्ट हाइड्रोलिक मेन से पास करते हैं वाटर सील से पास करते हैं जिसकी वजह से इस गैस के अंदर जितना भी वाटर एंड तार तार जो होता है वो यहाँ पर आके इकट्ठा हो जाता है उसके बाद में यहाँ पे एक टेस्टिंग टेप लगा रहता है दिस टेस्टिंग टेप इज़ यूज फॉर टेस्टिंग द गेस जो गेस हमने बनाई है वो गेस सही बनी है नहीं बनी है इस टेस्टिंग टेप से उसका टेस्टिंग किया जाता है इट इज़ अ गोल्डन येलो गेस द करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दिस ऑयल गेस इज इट इज इन येलो या गोल्डन येलो इन कलर दिस इज इट्स करेक्टरिस्टिक प्रॉपर्टी आफ्टर टेस्टिंग इट इज़ कलेक्टेड इन द गेस आफ्टर वाटर डिसप्लेसमेंट मैथड एंड मे बी इट इज़ डेक्टली यूज टू द लेबोरेटरी दैट्स वाई इट इज़ ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द लैब गेस now properties uh, the calorific value of the gas which is obtained is 4500 to 5400 kilocalorie per meter cube and uses it is used as a laboratory gas thank you